All right, gang, let's take a, a closer look at the stomach. So we'll start at the top where we can see the esophagus beginning to enter into the stomach. Right about here would be our gastroesophageal sphincter. Remember, if that gets leaky, you're going to end up with heartburn or GERD. Not a good thing. The dome-like por upper portion of the stomach is called the fundus. And then right around the gastroesophageal sphincter is the cardiac region. This would be the body. And then this portion down here would be the pylorus. Here would be our lesser curvature of the stomach and our greater curvature of the stomach. Because one's a small curve, one's a big curve. Down in this section would be another valve. This would be our um, pyloric valve or pyloric sphincter, which controls the chyme leaving the stomach and entering into the small intestine. Finally, if you look at these ridges in the epithelium of the stomach, those are called rugi. And if you remember, rugi are kind of like pleats on a skirt or on an accordion that allow the stomach to expand to accept more food. And that, my friends, is the stomach. Other important things to remember, um, remember the stomach is different than all of our other organs of our GI tract in that it has three layers of smooth muscle. So keep that in mind.